Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to integrate AI tools such as Gemini, Amazing Q or others in your Android Studio environment. So let's begin. We will create a new, start a new Android Studio environment. So let it come up. So I am using the Jellyfish version. So here we have two options. Either we can directly install the plugins right from the welcome screen itself by going here or we can first create our project and then do it. I'll go through the second approach where I will create a project, say for example, an empty project and AI project or AI tools project. I can name it anything, it doesn't matter. And click on finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. So environment is loading uh, up right now. And if you see, if those tools are not integrated on the right hand uh, on this bar, you will not see those tools over here. Otherwise, those icons of Gemini and Amazing Q will appear over here. So in the meantime, it's appear coming up. So I'll just show you how you can quickly uh, enable those tools. So just go to plugins from here, from the settings uh, options. And in the plugins, uh, you can just search for, say for example, I'll go one by one. First, I'll go with Amazing Q. So just search for Amazing Q. And if it's not installed, you'll get an option to install over here. And if it's installed, you'll get an option to enable or disable. So in my case, I installed it earlier. So I'm just getting an option to enable. Uh, so make sure you enable the Amazing Q. This is the uh, generative AI tool. So if I can read it loud, Amazing Q is your generative AI power station across. So for software development. So this is what you'll require for Amazing Q and what else will you require is Gemini. Okay, so let me do apply. So now I'll search for Gemini over here. So Gemini, they'll, it, you won't get it in the marketplace because Gemini, how it happens is when you uh, upgrade your Android issue version to the latest version, which is Jellyfish, it will come as a install in the bundle. So if you go to the install versions, you'll see Gemini over here and it's a bundled uh, plugin so you can't uninstall it you can either enable or disable so just enable it by clicking on this checkbox or clicking on that button and that's all and then click apply and click on ok it may ask you to restart uh, unless you restart you will not get all, all the options on the right hand side just just click on restart the or should you want to exit yeah exit and it may take a while uh, to restart your android studio but let's wait so it's coming up So in the meantime, I can tell you once it restarts, you may have to log in to both the uh, tools. It won't work as it is. So for Gemini, you'll have to log in using your Google account. And for Amazing Q, you'll have to log in through your, I think, um, WS uh, bundle account. So let, let it come up. Okay, it came up. So I have logged into both the tools in offline. So I'll show you. So this is for Gemini. If you click here, you'll get this option to authorize Gemini. So just click over here, it will take you to the browser and then uh, log into your Google account and that's all. You come back to your Android Studio and it will be done. So let me do it. Uh, let me click on this. So I'm signing you. So just click continue. Click on allow. And that's all. You're fine. You just click close and it will take you to. I come back here and I see uh, this is installed and yeah this is some of my previous searches over here so you can even search something more like uh, write a method for adding two numbers a very simple one I'm just giving here and it will give you a method similarly in the meantime when Gemini is okay let me wait for Gemini to quickly finish up writing a method so she gave me a method which I can copy paste as it is so add two numbers number one number two and return some I can also ask like since it's a Java code, I can ask her to write a Java method to add two numbers. So it will give me a Java class or Java method, uh, which I can just copy paste as it is over here and it will work. So see class, okay, it, it is giving me class also, but that's not what I need. I'll just need this uh, method. So public static, blah, blah, blah. Just you can use it as it is and then probably call it from your on fit method saying add and two comma three of course i'll not run and show the output but yeah this is as simple as that now let's see about the amazing queue so this is the for amazing queue so this is also 
installed and if there's any issues uh, uh, you, you may have to log in over here also and for amenity what you can do is you can just go here and uh, check the various options you get so if you are not signing you will get a sign in option over here instead of sign out so and once you click on that it will take you to to the browser and from there you have to log in and come back to your android studio environment that will work fine so if you see different options like pause auto suggestions suggestions and all and the project scan so you can click on that and it will scan your project to understand what are the measures and all over there also what you can do is say for example you are doing the coding and see if you notice here it's suggesting you based on the suggestion from amazon q what is a uh, like whether you like to insert this code or next uh, you want another suggestion so there are two suggestions over here so say for example in this case i would like to go to the second suggestion which is subtract method so based on the addition method is suggesting that whether you want to add as a uh, no uh, implement subtraction method or it, it, this is also subtraction but if you see it's a sub like similar to add is sub so whichever you feel good so say for example you just click on this insert code and that's all you don't have to do anything the whole method is implemented as easy and as as straightforward as possible and then you can just simply call subtract 2 comma 3 perfect so that's what i want to show you the capabilities of gemini and amazon q like uh, how easy it is to implement all these methods in your android studio environment to do to uh, uh, get the assistance from all these uh, ai tools for your coding and do it faster so that's all i hope this video is useful to you okay uh, one more thing i want to show that uh, scan is complete below uh, it says nothing to show it's a scan 77 files which are part of my projects and yeah but if it's a complex project and all uh, definitely will show you the details of the uh, of your code so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice